everybody welcome to the channel it's monday the 20th of february 2023 and i today this morning well this afternoon i got my second emma and craft emma watercolor box and i thought we'd unbox it together today i've taken it out of the outside packaging because nobody needs to see me struggle through opening that again but i haven't opened the actual box yet so i'm quite excited Print for, print for the month and the project that we'll be painting and it looks like there's a template for the heart I think I'm good with drawing my own heart but I can see how this could become useful you won't be getting a gift this month as well and it's a roll of washi tape with hearts on I can never have enough washi tape I use washi tape to tape down my things so I'm really about, I'm excited about seeing what brushes we have this time because I've used, especially in my eight round, I've used it quite a lot since last month. And it looks like this time again daggers. No, it's a cat's tongue, a number six cat's tongue, and a number ten dagger brush. So that's going to be exciting. those and then let's see if my paper's in because I seem to remember that some people complained about not having had paper last time. Well it looks like I've got it looks like I've got paper here. Oh there's tracing paper as well. Look at that. That's very useful. So you can trace the heart? I don't know. It depends on the lesson I guess. Oh, I'll watch the lesson and see. And yes. Here's my paper. <laughs> okay, everything's here. I'll put these things. Well, hang on. Let's open the paint first. And let's see what we've got. I'm sorry about the light. It's like 7 o'clock at night in Dublin. And it's dark outside, obviously. We have permanent rose, we have raw sienna, we have purple lake and hooker's light green. So now I'll try to get them out and see what the pigment information is. Permanent rose is hopefully going to be PB19. Um, it is PB19, I'm not sure if you can see that, it's super small. I mean, it is so small, I can barely read it. And Rosiana is... Hang on. It's PR 101, okay. The hooker's green is PY 139. that purple lake purple lake is pv19 as well so we have two pv19s we have the pinkish one pinkish rose one and the purpley one great right i will unwrap these babies off camera because again nobody needs to see that and then i will swatch them because you can only tell how good they are when you swatch them right so we do that right now I've unwrapped the pans. I haven't um, put the information on the pans yet because I don't really want to turn this over now, but there's no information on, on the actual pans once you've unwrapped them. But with these here, I just took, I cut off bits of the wrapper and stuck it on the double sided tape so I know what the name and the pigment information is, so I don't have to write it on with like a sharpie or something. I always hate that. I don't like doing that. Hate is too strong a word, but I don't like it. So, and I've 
torn a piece of the water paper in half and I've pre-wet my colors here as well because I remember that from last time that they activated it better when you like, pre-wet them a little bit and so I've wet a little spot here but there's also some dry bit of uh, dry paper over here so we can see how it works. This one says is it's PY139. I can't remember what pigment that is. It's not one I have a lot of, I don't think. But I'm kind of thinking there must be some info missing because I don't think I've ever seen a yellow pigment that is this green, in fairness. And it looks to me like there's also PG7 in there anyway. So. I don't know, maybe I'm gonna shoot an email to craft or more customer service. They're usually very good and try to get to the bottom of that because, well, first I'll find out what PY139 is. I can't remember. So then we test the Rossiya now. I made too big of a puddle here. I was gonna. See? This is why I, I, when I swatched my colors out in the last box, I um, promised that I would um, make a video of me painting something with the paints, but I still can't. I can't paint and talk at the same time. And I haven't figured out how to do voiceovers yet because I wouldn't even consider myself technically, uh, as technically challenged, but it's just this whole video making business. I like the idea of making videos, I just don't like the idea of having to fill around with the software and everything. I should have given myself more space for my swatches, but I mean, I guess, I guess I know what's what. This is lovely. Shocker. Lovely prominent rose. I'm on camera. I am on camera. So, and oh, I did it again. I must pay attention to what I'm doing, I'm sorry. I will get better at it eventually. Please stick with me. Ooh, this is also lovely. Yep. I'm liking that. Oh, that's very nice. I didn't really pay attention to the brush, but it seems like nice enough. As far as I can tell. So yes, in my last video I said I was gonna make a video and I'm gonna paint with the, the colors and I did paint the project in the tutorial twice actually. This one I painted with, I think they are my Van Gogh paints. So there were different different paints but it's the same paper, I used the same brush and yeah, I mean, it looks slightly different and I prefer the one that I painted with Emma's paints, but they both turned out nicely and it was like easy to follow. And then I painted a husky as well. It's kind of unfinished, but I kind of like liked how it looked, so I left it there. So I have actually used the paints and the brush and the paper and I still all like them. The brush is great. Like... And the brush is like literally here on my desk all the time with me and I don't know if you can pick this up in the light how discolored these bristles are you can certainly pick it up when you compare it next to the new one so I've used this a lot and I like it and I will keep using it a lot because I like it and I've used the paints as well not extensively yet because I only had like these three three colors and the white which doesn't really count but yeah, it was good enough for um, the husky because it fit the color scheme. But like with these colors now, hang on, I've got the swatches of the other ones here. So you, you kind of have like a yellow and I mean, it's a, it's a very warm earthy yellow. You have a cool reddish pink and you have a blue and there's the green as well and two different kind of purplies and um, a brown. So you can probably do quite a lot with these four co uh, eight colors and I will certainly be painting with all eight of them and see what I can do with them. 
and I don't know if I'll make a separate video about it. In fairness, I probably won't because today is the 20th of Feb. In two days, the 100 day project starts. And seeing as I'm gonna be doing the 100 day project, I'm not sure how much other filming I'll get in. We'll see. I want to do a few mixes here, I guess. So I just put a spot, white spot in here. I want to see what happens if I when I mix the raw sienna with the permanent rose. It's a, like a very nice peachy pink, and I think if you water this down quite a bit. can make a nice skin tone as well. But I'm going to painting portraits, but never mind. Sorry, I'm trying not to ramble. And I definitely also want um, to draw, I try the green. I mean, look at that. Doesn't that look like there's phalo green in there? PG7. And look how it grays out with the PV19. That's really nice, though. I like that. And then let's do the same thing with the green and the other PV19, just to see what that gives us. That's also really nice. Ooh. Look at that. Yes, very nice. Not that I'm surprised anymore after the first box, I do really think. The materials are really nice. So, let's have a look. They're not entirely dry yet, of course. But I think is gonna be another fun box to play with and I cannot wait to play with all the colors that I have now together and paint something. Again, if you have subscribed to Emma's boxes as well or if you're you know, getting this one, I would love to hear what you think of them. If you're happy you're subscribed or not. I haven't even tried the big brush. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, they all are really, really nice. I cannot wait to play around with them and then show you what I've done at some point soon. So yes, if you have this box, if you're getting this box, I would love to hear what you think of it. I would love to hear what you thought of the first one and if you're happy with it, if you're happy with the materials and everything. Then if you like watching people's watch, I will this time really actually um, be posting my 100 day swatches because I'm gonna be swatching for my 100 day project. I've decided to do something really really simple this year instead of always like have intricate animal drawings and things like that. I'll just do a swatch a day and come up with my own granulating mixes and things like that. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff please consider subscribing to my channel. I will start on Wednesday and I will be mad, but yeah, also fun. And don't forget to give the video a like, that would also help immensely. Thanks a million for watching, have a good night, day, whatever, see you soon, bye, bye now.